Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? So, I've done a little bit of cooking, only just a couple of bits, and I sorted out my bags as well. Well, I say sorted out. They're still, they're still looking a little bit untidy here, so we can just move things around a little bit so that they are a little bit tidier, and we can keep on top of everything that we're using. This is stuff that we want to keep down here. And then we have other stuff that we don't want to keep that we will use later on. So we have a load of... Ooh. That right there is the uh, fossilized raptor. You get that mount through archaeology. And it is a mount that I have yet to get. I will get it at some point, but I have not got it yet. But anyway, we have a load of mail. Now, if you remember in our last episode, we put up some items on the auction house. This is what we've got. So we got the auction house. This one didn't sell. So we get that one returned to us. And then we have our rough boomsticks. Now, we put up four different rough boomsticks, and they we listed them at one gold 25 each, plus a deposit of one silver 87. And then the auction house take the small cut of six silver 25 copper, which means we get one gold 20. Now, we didn't put these up for very much money. We could possibly have put them up for more money than this. And it's quite likely, actually, that the materials, if we'd sold them on their own, they would have ended up getting more for us. But we have sold them. It's something that we did in order to level up our um, uh, to, to level up our uh, engineering skill. And so this is it's literally just a byproduct. Uh, very often, you'd end up just selling this stuff to the... Um, to a merchant because nobody wants to buy it. So we, we're doing all right. We've got four gold from that and then the clam meat. Now this is the good one. 12 gold 50. We sold these for one gold 25. We've got another six there. One gold 25 a piece and we sold them all so we lose 62 silver for the auction house cut and get 11 gold 88 silver. That is a fantastic amount of money. So we now have 26 gold. Now I don't uh, how much did I send? I did send myself, I sent myself 10 gold to this character in order to start things up. There's just a load of people having, uh, jewels and stuff down here. So what, uh, you often see this here. People will challenge each other to jewels and it all goes down in Goldshire. So that's where it all happens. You have it happening in Goldshire. But we're not staying in Goldshire. Nope, we are going off to Eastvale Logging Camp. And today we are hoping to move on over to uh, Red Ridge Mountains and this area is for 15 to 20. Now when we're only level 12 I'm hoping that we can get some quests here. If we can't we've only got a couple of bars um, in order to get up to level 13 and we should be able to get them two levels below but anyway we'll get over there and then we can start walking into Red Ridge Mountains and start our second area. There we go, just landing, and we can start running. We're going to ignore that quest. That is the one to go to uh, Westfall. Although, actually, I wonder if there is a quest to actually send us into Red Ridge Mountains. Uh, there's just Heroes Call Westfall. I think we actually do need to get up another two, complete these two bars in order to be able to get the next one. So that is the one that we're going to look for. Um, we might just have to do a few kills or something like that. It's not going to take us very much. It's, it's literally... Uh, 1200 XP in order to get that. Marshall Haggard has got the same quest over there, so we can ignore that one. And we'll sort of run around this lot and ignore any mobs here. Oh, actually, no, yeah, we'll, we'll ignore them, we'll ignore them. Um, the clam meat is probably worth going after. If we were to go and farm some murlocs for a little while and do it like that, that would possibly be worthwhile. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. And... I'm looking at this rain here, and I'm thinking this is quite fitting, actually, because where I am in the UK, it is absolutely hoofing it down right now. And so, yeah, it's, it's kind of fitting that it's also raining quite heavily here in um, Elwyn Forest as well. And I, that's something I particularly like about Warcraft. You go to different parts of the world, and it will be... You, you get rain and all sorts. So you, you quite often get rain here, and in Duskward and so on. Stranglethorn, you get the rain. But then if you move, like, the Blasted Lands, that's a desert. Rarely, I don't think you get rain now, or Burning Steps. Um, and you move up into Badlands and places like that. And you, you don't really get rain up there. That's a level 16 creature, that is. Um... 340 XP just from moving here and it's yeah it's raining in Elwyn Forest it's not raining here in Red Ridge Mountains and as we get close to this tower this is where the first quests are absolutely no transients no exceptions brilliant I like that um 
the first quests are here and you can see they are too high level for us to get at the moment which means that we're going to need to kill a couple of creatures in order to just get up to um, level 13. But I don't think that's going to be much of a problem because we just picked up another $200 XP from killing that one. I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll keep walking along his road. And if we go over here, we can get the flight point and we can go to Red Ridge itself and um, see Red Ridge. And actually, once we get the flight point, we could, if we get level 12 by that point, we could then fly back over to East Vale Logging Camp and potentially, we've got some copper ore up there. We'll get that and we'll take out that pig while we're at it. Um, we could potentially get the quest to go to Red Ridge Mountains, which wouldn't take very long at all. We are extremely... We don't have skinning, so we could ignore any skinnable beasts. Um, but we are extremely powerful. That's, that's what I like about the Protection Paladin, is the moves that it does with the shield are particularly good. <laughs> that's it, level 13 already. That was quite impressive. We have got zero in the way of... Um, bonuses or anything like that we don't have any heirlooms or anything that give us um xp boosts or anything like that for leveling with um and i've deliberately done it like that so that you can sort of get a a base leveling experience with this and see what it's like um sort of starting the game afresh without any assistance whatsoever because once you've played the game before and you you start leveling up you you tend to um, you tend to rush the whole leveling process, and I've I for one I don't have a lot of alts. Um, and, I mean I've got low level alts, but I don't have very many high level alts, and I'm not one for really trying to rush the whole leveling process. It's it's not something that I've ever particularly wanted to do. Right, I'm going to fly back to Eastvale Logging Camp so we can just take an aerial view of this place. There is Argus. I'm looking, I haven't actually been there yet, I haven't been there on my main character yet. My main character is now level 108, I got one and a half levels to go, and I'm actually hoping to later on today, which is actually Friday, um, do a little bit more on that character. I am at the moment farming Dark Moon Fair tokens for the new uh, Dark Moon Fair flying mount that is available, so I'll probably spend quite a bit of this evening uh, working on that. But there is also some... Um, I, I will also try to get a little bit of leveling in as well so that I do have Sorry, a chance. Friend. Right, what have we got? I was still here as Call Westfall. Lights. I was so hoping that it wouldn't be. I was hoping that we would have the Hero's Call for the next one. Never mind. That's okay. We will fly back over to here to Lakeshire. Um, we'll run over to the inn in Lakeshire. And then once we've run to the inn, we can then um, see about sort of starting a few quests in that there. I forgot to actually check that there was now a quest available underneath us. Because if there isn't, it means we've got to get to level 14 before we can do anything in here. But yes, my plans this evening. I am planning on um, hopefully hitting level 110. I don't know if it's going to happen. We still don't have a quest available there. I don't know if it's not showing up because I'm on the griffin. Oh no, I can, stu I can still see it there. It's in grey. Um, that's going to put a bit of a dampener on our plans. I was kind of hoping to not have to um, go elsewhere. I didn't want to go to Westfall. I don't want to go into Westfall. I was going to leave Westfall completely and just go here. Now that one there is a pet trainer battle. So we may go and do that one. That will get us some XP. So it, um, and it, mostly it's for the pets, but I think it does also give your character some experience points as well. So maybe we can do something with that. We'll have to see. Now we've got Lakeshire, you've got, yep, that quest over there is quite an easy one to do, and that one's in grey. So it does not look like we're going to be able to do anything here whatsoever, which is deeply disappointing to me. We've got to get up another level. Um, now we've got the adventure guide, this is showing up, so we can, uh, your five-man arena team, no, I don't want to do that. Westfall, the crime rate of Westfall has skyrocketed as people fight for shelter. Darkshore, the people of Lordanel need your aid. No, we're not going to go up there either. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this inn and we're going to change our hearthstone to this inn right here. We're going to speak to innkeeper Brianna and I'm going to make this in my home. Right, we are now in Red Ridge. So my plan B is to go back over to this flight point and... Actually, no, I'm not going to go to the... Uh, 
Oh, I, I don't know. I need to get another level. I think I might fly back down to Goldshire and then walk to the edge of Westfall. And we will do a few quests over in Westfall until we reach level 14. We will then drop every quest we've got and then fly back over this way. I don't... Oh! Can we reach that guy before anyone else does? Now, he is level 17. He is going to be a real challenge for us. He is a rare spawn. Now, you can tell the rare spawn by this silver dragon around his portrait. Um, I think he's also an elite rare spawn, which makes him even more difficult. I've never seen Snarl Flare before, but this could be the epic battle to end all epic battles. So what I need to do is I want to take that one out. I'm not going to burn up my um, cooldown on that one. I'm just going to hit him with my standard weapon a little bit. Right, he's out. And now Snarl Flare. Can I take this one down? This is... This could be an interesting fight, to say the least. Can I get close enough? Uh, let's go up here. I'm Right, I'm close enough. And that is going to do the most damage there. So I'm going to throw that one first. And see what that does. Nothing. Oh, well. I've, I've at least... Um, offended him so let's run down here away from him so he comes down here towards us lower down the mountain that's what I want him to do right come down here and now I'm going to start hitting him okay he's level 17 and I three three shots and nearly half a level oh that was brilliant right what do we get you almost always get a green of some sort item level 80 right that's just a cloth drop that's a bit disappointing, I think, overall, be, um, from what we got. But um, I think we did really, really well on that one. I was, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult than that. Um, it doesn't look like we actually need to go very far. We could just stay here and kill a few creatures, and we could, if we could find another one like that, we'll be doing all right. I think we could cope with that. But first of all, we are going to go to this one here, Lindsay, the master pet trainer. And we're going to see what we can do with her. But before we do that, we're going to go to my collections. And we're going to go to, not the toy box, we're going to go to this one. Uh, oh. Well, that's not good because these aren't the battle pets that I wanted to use. I've got another group of battle pets that I wanted to use. I want to use these. Now, what level are her creatures? Uh, they're level 5s and mine are level 3s. I don't think that's going to work very Oh, no, I've got two level 4s. This is what I want to do. I wanted to use these three, and I've got a group of them. I do have an add-on that uh, lets you use all of them, but I don't think it's going to work. Or it's, it's not active at the moment. So we'll see if we can do it with this. We get 2,400 XP if we defeat Lindsay. Um, let's rumble. Now, I'm using low-level characters compared to hers. Uh, low-level pets compared to hers. Very low-level pets, but... We do have that one, which does extra damage against her. So, we'll see if... Oh, no, she's gone underground, which means that I'm going to completely miss now. Um, and, yeah, the... Um, the thing that I've got, the, the add-on that I've got, it does actually help you out quite a lot. I'm going to go this way so that you can have her on that side and me on this side. It tells you what abilities your opponent has got as well, which is a really, really useful thing to have. Um, because it sort of... It helps you out a lot with sort of planning your moves... That burrow one, we would have realized that she had that, and it would have given us a better shot at perhaps avoiding it. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to defeat her with this one. We are... Oh, oh, no, we did, we did. We defeated her, right. I could actually swap this one over now. Or I could just go for another attack. I'm going to go straight for the attack. I'm going to assume that she's going to use that burrow ability in a minute. She appears to be saving it. We are now down to 9 health. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch our pets over. Because I want to keep that one alive in order to be able to um, gain, it the, gain it some XP. I think you've got to keep them alive in order to gain the XP. This one doesn't have the Impale ability unlocked. Which means it's going to be considerably weaker than the other one. But it does look like that this one... Oh! Ability. Scratch, Adrenaline Rush and Flurry. So that one doesn't have the ability, the Burrow ability that the other one did. Um, so it's it's just going to keep attacking us like that, and we can keep doing this. So if we can do this once more, it shouldn't take us out, and we can take this one out. Very much like Pokemon, these pet battles. Very much like Pokemon. Or I've been told, I've never actually played Pokemon on anything. 
Um, ooh. Oh, this is the charge type thing. Shattered defense. Increase your damage taken by 100%. So now what we'll do is we'll swap the pet again. And this one will take a turn. This one also has a shattered defense now. But we're now going to use this one because her abilities are Scratch, Dodge, and Stampede. Dodge. She might use Dodge this turn, actually. Because the Stampede has been running. So this turn, I'm going to go for the number one. It's still on the Stampede. All right, we'll, we're going to try it. We're, we're, we're going to risk it. Gonna, no, now she's done dodge and we can't hit her. That's that's hardly fair, that is. I thought I timed that beautifully, but it's actually... Um, we've missed being able to use our powerful ability on this turn. Um, and, oh yeah, the dodge goes up again anyway. But now we can use the powerful ability. We've got to use this one this turn, but then next turn we'll be able to use that one because the dodge does have a long cooldown. And so we should take her out this turn. Should go out this turn because most of their abilities against the humanoids are weak. Boom, and it's out. So yeah, I don't know what you uh, what you guys think of using these. 194 difficulty bonus, 211 difficulty bonus. There, that was absolutely beautiful. We got uh, three of them have uh, two of them have reached level five. One of them has reached level four. Gained that was that was really good. Okay, that was really nicely done. Um, I don't know what you think of the whole pet battles thing. Do you want me to do more pet battles while we play? Because, I mean, you see pets that you can, like, uh, fight all the way at all. Uh, all the way through. Um, there's hundreds of different pets that you can capture. I haven't captured very many at all. Uh, complete quest, 2,450. So I didn't actually read that one out. And that's, like, the first quest I've ever done that with. Not read it out properly. <laughs> um, I apologize for that. I normally do. It's something I normally do. But it's, it's kind of the, the, the style that I've been playing. But anyway, um, we, we will do so in future. If you want to see me doing more pet battles, then just let me know. And it's something that we will do more of, if that's what you want to see. Um, I I quite enjoy doing the pet battles. I mean, Senleia, my wife, she is the one for the pet battles. She has done pet battles, loads and loads and loads of pet battles, um, to the point... Right. These guys here look like they're bugged or something. I'm not quite sure what's going on with these. So let's take these two out a minute. Like that. Um, yeah, Sen has got like all the achievements for getting hundreds of pets and all kinds of things. And like done really, really well with it. And I, I've not got anything like that. Um, she's really worked through and gotten loads and loads of them. It's quite impressive just how many she has now. Um... So, yeah, I've, I've not done it, anything like that. I've sort of worked on... Um, mounts is my thing. Um, whenever we, like, do the old dungeons together, we uh, run through old raids and things like that together, um, I go for... I have first dibs on any mounts that drop, and Sen has first shout on any um, uh, pets that drop. So, now obviously, she gets a lot more out of it than I do because the mounts generally all have a 1% chance of dropping in any raid or dungeon that you go into, and so the chances of actually getting one are fairly slim. But, I mean, it does happen. It does happen, and I have gotten a few over the years from our different dungeon runs. Um, and that's so that's just the way that we run it. Now, we are almost there. We've only got a few thousand more XP, and we will be upright. That one's... I, I can do that one as well. See, you, you can't... You can, like... Um, you don't get mob tagging anymore. It used to be that if you did damage to a mob, you would have exclusive rights to killing that mob. Even if someone else came along and killed it as well, um, you're the one that would get all of the XP for it and all of the loot and everything else. It would just go grey to anyone else. Now, um, it doesn't matter if someone else tags it, you still get a slice of the loot, which is an absolutely brilliant way of doing it. Um, it also means that you get like kill credits if you're trying to... Um, do quests and stuff like that and generally it makes life a lot easier for everybody involved now it that's only same faction though i still i believe it's still um for the great big uh world um bosses that are around you don't get any um you don't get any mob tagging of any kind you you can have cross factions uh, doing the attacks and you, you still all get credit for the kill um, but for normal mobs, if a member of the opposite faction, so if a horde character came along and tagged a mob, um, then it would go grey for us and we couldn't assist them. It's, it's basically to sort of keep the whole horde versus alliance alive. You don't have any chance to have um, uh, like alliance going around and helping out the horde to any extent whatsoever. And I, I mean, I get, that is it's 
the whole point of the whole the, the World of Warcraft world, it's um, it's war. We're, we're at war. I mean, I know that we're currently all fighting the Burning Legion together, but the fact of the matter is, the Horde and the Alliance are still enemies. So you, you sort of got to bear that in mind with backstory and stuff like that. Um, you, you just remember that the Horde and the Alliance are actually enemies and have a lot of history of fighting in that even if you have like these temporary alliances to bring down the particularly big nasty bosses that do turn up occasionally um they are still enemies the, the horde and the alliance do still um want each other most for the most part they do still want each other to die and that's that's kind of the, the whole point of the game um, especially when you start getting into PvP, it's definitely Horde versus Alliance, not Horde working with Alliance. And it's, it has been since day one. And so um, they've sort of added in this whole um, being able to assist with the mobs and stuff and changed it around just a little bit so that you can't assist the opposite faction. And I think that is an excellent idea. It does it keeps the, the, the flavour of the game alive in a beautiful fashion as far as I'm concerned. Right. Oh, small eggs. Small eggs are worth an absolute fortune. I believe there's a quest in Dark Moon Fair that comes up every four weeks when Dark Moon Fair is um, live. There is a quest in there somewhere. Yes! Level 14. We've got two more. <gasps> Consecration. Oh, that is such a good one. Um, redemption. Uh, we don't really care about that too much. We bring a dead ally back to life. I mean, it's, it, it is always handy to be able to resurrect someone, but it's the consecration, the one that we really want. And we're going to put that one on there and swap it there. So I have consecration easy on hand to use. Actually, we're going to change flash of light to uh, taunt. So we're going to do it like that. So flash of light is on seven, easy to get to. Taunt is on number one. I don't use number one often. That's one that I use rarely when I'm, I'm sort of laying out where my finger buttons, uh, my, my finger buttons, my finger pushes are. Uh, two, three, and four are my primary moves. Those are the ones that I use more than any others. Um, but I will just show you Consecration a minute. There we go. Consecration goes down on the ground and starts doing damage to everything around you. And then you can start sort of walloping things down with your other moves. Right, we now need to do a quick heal. Flash of light, there we go. We'll do another one and bring us right up to the maximum. And I'm going to chuck down some dynamite as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's wonderful. Right, and we've got the quests over here. So we can start getting stuck into these now. Um, we look at the map. Uh, Duskwood is level 20. So when we reach level 9, so if we're 14 before we got the quest, we're going to have to say level 19 because there's a quest up there. It looks like it might, oh no, it doesn't look like it's grey. It looks like it's just indoors, that's all. So we're going to have to be level 19. So we want to do five levels while we're here. By order of the Stormwind Royal Guard, all gnolls at the region known as Three Corners in the southwestern corner of Red Ridge Mountains are wanted dead. Should you dispatch of the gnolls of the region, report to your victory to the Watch Captain Parker at Tower Watch. So we need to kill any 15 gnolls, and we do get a very nice press plate from it when we are done. Darcy Parker. I need your help, human. Why Why would you address someone as human? I mean, I could maybe dwarf or something like that, but I don't go into a... You know, if... if <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love some of the opening lights. You walk into a supermarket and someone, you you go over to someone and you're trying to find, you, you sort of say, excuse me, uh, yeah, it, or, you know, I need your help, lady, or something like that. But you, excuse me, I need your help, human. <laughs> I need your help, human. I need to find the apples. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I absolutely love it. What an opening. <laughs> I need your help, human. <laughs> Our rations have run out and the guards are getting hungry. They're clamoring for my world-famous franks and beans, but I have no ingredients on hand. Would you be a darling and help me out? I need some Gortus kidneys, condor, condor giblets, and tarantula eyes. You'll find Gortusks, condors, and tarantulas near this tower. Just look around. Safe travels. Okay, we'll do it, human. Don't worry. <laughs> I love I there is there's is just little things if you take the time to sort of instead of racing through and even now I've been playing this game for years and there are still things when I take my time and I look through carefully that just make me just absolutely well split my sides with laughter it's it's brilliant I love it um right 
damned worthless gnolls are up to no good. I can feel it in my bones. Gnoll activity in the area has tripled in the past two weeks. I fear they might be mounting up to make an assault on the Lakeshire. I need you to head to each of the gnoll camps of this area and gather any information that you come across. Check the camps directly north of here, east of here, and southeast of here. Bring back whatever you find. Be careful. Yes, sir. Actually, you know, after that one, I feel that he definitely needs a salute. And... Can we do it? Okay. Not particularly realistic, and I did say that I would try to sort of role play, so throwing myself out at the top of the tower is probably not the best way to um, role play, but it's still fun. You, you Occasionally, you do need to do things like throw yourself out at the top of the tower. It's, it's just it's just one of those things that you've got to do. So let's um, go and up here, because there's one item up here. You can see the little blue circle on the map. Um, and yeah, it's it's sparkling right there, so we, we can see what we need to get. And if I can get that one up there, I taunt that one down to me. Did you see me roar just then? Just bringing him down. And take them out. Kaboom, kaboom. And then we get the plans here. This is a null battle plan right there. So there's one of them. And well, we, we can generally ignore the nulls as we go through here because there are a load more that we're going to get in a minute anyway. Uh, we're going to go to the other camps. We've got just enough time, I think, to do these three quests that we've been given. And then we will um, retire to the inn here in Red Ridge. And that will be it for us. So let me just get this copper vein here. There we go. Right, condors should be around here somewhere. There's one condor. And can I get him whilst jumping? Apparently not. We do. We want. We need to try to get these condors. They're um, generally the most difficult ones to get. And he's was he out of range or something? He's flying away very, very rapidly from us. Which seems a little bit peculiar. All I'm wanting to do is rip his giblets out. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't think that's too much to ask, is it? Just that's, that's all I want to do. Come here. Right, at last, he has come down. Now we can fight that one. And will he have any giblets that we can take? Yes, condor giblets. One of four. There's another condor there. We can um, summon that one down. Um, you just, you've got to watch your cooldowns on here. Most of these don't have cooldowns. There's another ability that we will get a bit later on that will actually go in place of number four. And I'll move those up a little bit. But we don't get that one yet, so we don't need to worry about it for the moment. Some more small eggs there. And if I can just throw one in on that kill. No, I didn't get it in time. All I need to do is throw one in on the kill. And I sort of I get uh, credit for it. Which means that I can loot it as well. It does... It. I mean, I, I know it, it seems a little bit cheeky going and stealing someone's uh, like kill credit like that. But uh, it's not technically stealing the kill credit at all. It's, it's kind of working with the people that are there. Um, and you, you're all working together because you are essentially you're all on the same side I mean we're this we're a paladin we're battling to protect the land and so we we'd want to help people out and we'd want them to help us out in order to continue on with our mighty quest that we've got to do um, you know something along those lines great gore tusks over here these are quite easy to get and I think, so tarantulas are mostly to the south of the tower if I remember correctly I did this not very long ago actually um, and we've got the it's the knolls over here that we want to get to. We've got some copper back here, so we'll just go and grab that while we're passing through. Get that one there. And we do need to use our um, bombs and stuff. So we've got the bombs and we've got the dynamite. The dynamite inflicts 90 damage in a 5-yard radius. 30 fire damage incapacitates in a 3-yard range. Ah, I see. So the bombs are much more focused. Um... So the bombs is like close focus um, and stuns to the immediate area, whereas the dynamite is a little bit further apart. So let's just try and see what they do. We'll, we'll drop this copper bomb down here. Yeah, it stuns them both, but it's only a very short stun, so it doesn't act. It's not actually that brilliant, I don't think. We'll take that one out. He's gone. Someone's healing me. Ah, thank you. Always salute. Well, I, I try to always salute. I mean, it doesn't always work, but you, you do try to. And let's steal the Knoll Orders there. We've got another Red Ridge Mongrel up there. Grab that one down. And one last shot. There we go, a Judgment. You used to have different types of Judgments, I think. I'm sure that there used to be 
uh, like different kinds of judgments and you didn't just have one that you you could use all right we're gonna take all three of these here just run up to there like that and then i throw down consecration first i use the shield like that and he rattles i actually took three of them out i uh, took two of uh, one of them out and the other two are almost dead they're gonna run away and they're actually gonna bring in some reinforcements is what they generally do. So if we, um, we'll, we'll focus on this one and we'll wait for that one to come back. Ooh, that's not good. I'm about to die. Whoa. You do have to be, it's so easy to sort of lose track of your own health. You do have to pay close attention. And the fact that you now get this kind of red uh, aura come up around the screen when you're fighting um, to warn you that your health is getting low is really, really good because the number of times that I used to be genuinely taken by surprise when i died it's like oh i didn't realize my health was getting low um so it, as far as i'm concerned that is a absolutely magnificent little touch to the game that has been added in that um you never used to have i didn't actually mean to press that it's because i've been using my other paladin and that one um the shield is actually on button five yeah that's it i keep pressing the wrong button there we go let's try that and take out the pig so we've got Gortusk Kidney, uh, there's two of those. Um, the Gortusk Liver, you do actually use the Gortusk Livers for a quest in Westfall it is. But we're not actually doing Westfall, so we uh, don't need to worry about that one. It's a fairly simple one, you used to be able to run out, and I think it was a Gortusk Liver Pie or something like that, that you made. Um, but I think you can get the recipe now from somewhere else. I think you can actually buy it in Stormwind from a, um, a trader in Stormwind. So you don't actually need to worry about it at all. Right, now we'll throw down Consecrate and we'll put that one out. And then we'll start sort of throwing everything that we've got now. Hit that one with a ranged one and this one will die because he's close anyway. So we've done 15 of 15 nulls. So we don't need to worry about nulls anymore. I'll tell you what, let's just sit and eat. I know... Healing yourself up with the Paladin is really, really quick, and it actually takes longer to sit and eat than it does to heal yourself up, and you don't really need to worry about the mana. But we are getting this boost, so we've got Stamina Well-Fed boost, which is going to help us out a bit. We get the Knoll Strategy Guide. That's those three done. We now need a one Condor Giblet. We need a few Gore... We need two Gore Tusks. So if we can get those a minute, we'll grab that one there, and wallop him with our shield so there's one less gore tusk that we've got to find one more gore tusk there's one down there i'm hoping actually that there will be a gore tusk or two down this way because the tarantulas are generally over this way i want to grab that one and if i can hit him with my shield apparently i can't he's gone whizzing back up into the sky and he's now too far away for me to actually do anything to which is a little bit frustrating so we'll get this one instead oh maybe i can get him Yes, I can throw both of those at him, and then I can throw out the shield. I'll throw down the Consecrate just to make sure that he stays interested in me, get him as well. And we only take one of those. We can't take extra quest items. You used to be able to take extra quest items many years ago when you played this game, and then you'd sort of forget which quest items you'd used and which ones you still needed. And it was a bit of a nuisance because you'd then be running around with these quest items in your bag, never quite sure if you still needed them or not it was yeah it was it was a bit like because it didn't actually say quest item either it would just be an item in your bag and you were never quite certain if it was one that you should be deleting or not um fortunately we don't need to worry about that any longer that those days are behind us now we still need one gore tusk kidney so we do need to find a gore tusk somewhere and I think there's one that will appear up there. We want to get some tarantulas, so we'll run over here and see if we can just assist with that kill. There we go. One quick assist. Um, you don't get any more the, uh, the, the buffs that you used to get. You used to get these things called buffs, and it was basically you put it on yourself. This is a buff. It's something that boosts your character. It gives you assistance while you're fighting. And you never... You used to have... A, like every single character had buffs for all kinds of different things but they've kind of done away with the whole buff system they seem to have gotten rid of it completely because i mean before a fight everybody would buff up and that's you know it was literally it was like a big thing buffing up before you started your fight it was a very important part of doing any big fight you take your time everybody would apply buffs and if you were in a group you would apply buffs to everybody you'd all sort of um you'd share them out so you'd get um 
all kinds of extra boosts going on you. So you'd have um, you'd have uh, the paladin buffs going up, and the paladins could provide quite a few different buffs, and they were really really good. Uh, the different ones that they could sort of add to you. Now it's saying that the um, the triangle is saying over here, so maybe there's a couple of gore tusks down this way. Um, but yeah, that those buffs. So like um, the, the warlock had their own fell armor and that, but I don't think the warlock could apply theirs to anyone else. Theirs was it's sort of fitting with a warlock, I guess, in that they were they were kind of a, a selfish character. It was all about themselves. Although they could provide you with health stones, and everybody used the health stones. It was a kind of a really important thing. The mages they would lay out a table so that you could have some free food and drink in order to um, heal yourself up uh, at the end of a fight. As that was in particular, you would see those kinds of tables being laid out when you were getting ready for a. Um, large PvP battle. So if you were temporary, if you were down temporarily somewhere, you could just sort of sit and eat and just uh, boost yourself back up again, r r like um, raise your health back up again. Um, the mate, I'm sure the mages had a, a yes, the mages they did. They had arcane intellect. They would put that on you, and the paladins they would put boosts on you. Um, I think the druids would put boosts on you as well. Yeah, so you had all these different buffs, and you could have loads of them. You had a great big sort of group of them up in the top corner. And it looked really cool. It made you feel really epic that you were all buffed up and ready for battle. And then you go charging off, and you die, and you'd lose all the buffs, and then you'd have to start all over again from scratch. Um, and I, I would guess it, it, kind of became, it kind of became something that you had to do rather than as a, as a bonus. It was kind of an essential and... Blizzard did try to remove that kind of gameplay from the game. They can't, they tried to remove the uh, the things that you were sort of forced to do while you were playing, um, in order to give it more about choice rather than um, you, no choice. Because that's what it essentially ended up being. It was there was no choice in the matter. You had to have these in order to have a fighting chance of being able to do stuff, um, and they didn't want that to be as part of the game. Right, we have got the three quests done at long last i thought there would have been gore tusks down there so i've been rattling on and just sort of wandering around not doing a great deal but we have leveled up a couple of levels we're now halfway through level 14 already um so we will go and park ourselves up in the inn in just a moment we're going to go and turn in these three quests first and then once we've done these we can start on the red ridge quest and the red ridge ones there's uh, the lakeshire ones over there you, there's quite a lot of quests that we start there and we we have to we get sort of sent off to do all kinds of things um going up to the north and so on and so forth so i'm hoping that there is enough here to get us up to level 19 which is what we want in order to get over to one of my favorite lower level areas which is duskwood and that's this one here it's got such an awesome storyline i used to particularly like stranglethorn and the changes that they've made to stranglethorn i'm not as keen on it now as i used to be but um we will still go and spend a bit of time in Stranglethorn as well. But anyway, Darcy Thank Parker, you. have you gotten my ingredients? Yes, we do. Perfect. I'll put these in a pot right away. Dinner should be ready in a few hours. Thank you, darling. Well, at least she didn't say human again. See you um, later. Right, 3,400 XP there. And we go up the top and we hand these two in. We could very well end up with... Oh, we got more adventure guides here. Red Ridge Mountains. Alliance forces in Red Ridge Mountains are spread too thin. I need your help. If we start quest from here, what does that give us? Uh, that's Dark Shore. Uh, we can't actually start the quest from there. That's a bit of a shame. I guess it's because we're already here. At least that's what I'm guessing. Um, oh well. Right. Now uh, we go to uh, Watch Captain Watch Parker. Connection. Wanted Red Ridge Knolls. Let's go up beside Watch Captain Parker and we'll do it from here. There we go. Get a better view of everything that's going on. Right. Ronted Red Ridge Knolls. A job well done. Deserves a reward, wouldn't you say? Don't spend this all in one place, Paladin. Better to spread it around if you catch my drift. 14 silver and the Royal Guard Breastplate. That one is actually pretty good and it's giving us a nice bonus all round. So we get our own complete quest. Did you find the Knoll plans? We've got the battle plans, the orders and a strategy guide. Uh, continue. I knew it. Looks like Yowler is behind this uprising, which is incredible because we keep killing gnolls no named Yowler. I don't know how many sons of the original Yowler had, but it's got to be close to a hundred. Well, looks like we got ourselves another Yowler to kill. Magistrate Solomon must be notified. Now that is a beautiful sort of um, mention of orig the, the original quest over here. It, was, it finished with having to kill Yowler. And 
obviously the game has been here for nearly a decade now. Um, actually, it has been here for a decade, hasn't it? Wasn't it 10 years celebrations? Uh, so yeah, a decade of playing it and a decade of killing Yowler. So I, I like the way that they've explained that by saying we've killed hundreds of them. That's actually quite good. I like that. Um, right. We have a stamina critical. So that one actually, the stamina and the critical strike would be useful. And then we have a belt here, which is one strength and one stamina. Um, I think actually I'm going to go for the Yowling Cloak, even though I think that that might actually be better. No, we're going to go for the cloak. We'll go for the cloak. I want to upgrade my cloak now. And we have the message carrier, which is another eight slot bag. We don't need to worry about that because I sent us our own bags. We have an unspent talent point. We've reached level 15. Right. We get to that. Here it is, Grundorn. Take my report to Lakeshire, located north of this tower, and deliver it to Magistrate Solomon. Inform him that we need a more comprehensive solution for dealing with the Suggest explosives. Lots of explosives. And stick to the road if you know what's good for you. What's good for you is staying alive, by the way. In case you didn't know what was good for you, you know, now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. I like this guy. He's as um, inarticulate as I am sometimes. Right. You have unspent talent points, so we'll just deal with that one a minute. Specialization and talents. Now, every 15 levels, we get a new talent point that we can select. So, increase your block chance by 15% allows you to block spells, and your successful blocks deal 41 holy damage to your attacker. So, that's a passive thing. That does actually seem pretty good. Uh, replaces Hammer of the Righteous, throws a Blessed Hammer that spirals outward, dealing 34 holy damage to enemies that it hits and causes them to deal 12% less damage to you on their next auto attack. Maximum of three charges. Okay, uh, 4.5 second recharge. That could be pretty good because it does help reduce the damage that's coming into us. So I really like that. Hammer of the Righteous. Shield of the Righteous and Light of the Protector now always gain the benefit of Consecration. Uh, what's the benefit of Consecration? Causing 100. I don't understand that. I, gen I genuinely don't understand. Hammer of the Righteous has no cooldown. Um, Hammer of the Righteous. Oh, that one. Oh, right. Um, okay, let's just read this one. While you are standing in your Consecration... Hammer of the Righteous also causes a wave of light that hits all other targets within 8 yards for 33 holy damage. Hammer of the Righteous, Shield of the Righteous, and Light of the Protector now always gain the benefit of Consecration. Now always gain. Ah. Right, there's... Oh, that's Avenger's Shield. Um, light of the Protector, which is... Oh, I'm guessing this is, this is obviously the abilities that we don't have yet, so we get the Hammer of the Righteous. So basically... I'm torn between these two. Throws a blessed hammer, and that replaces hammer of the right. Oh. Right, I see. So that one replaces that one, and it actually becomes an AOE damage rather than a um, a straight damage, because at the moment it's, it's kind of a straight damage. Um, I think it would be better to go for consecrated hammer. We're going to go for consecrated hammer. You don't get a second chance for this. If you accidentally click it, that's it. You've chosen it and then you have to go and talents can only be changed while in a rested XP area. You can change them, but you, you sort of got to be careful. Right. Okay. I understand that. Hopefully you did as well. And we are going to um, go back to the inn straight from here. So we can just use our half stone. And this is going to take us straight over to Red Ridge, which is at, over to Lakeshire, which is the town here in Red Ridge. And we will hand in the quest that we've done tomorrow. So we have actually increased by, what are we? We started at level 12 and we're now level 15. I think we've done pretty well today. So yes, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.